Hey, great Avon team. This is the PC event. Opportunity to learn how to build your business. $10,000 plus in a year or less. I'm um, going to give everybody a chance to get on. Um, I know I'm a few minutes early, but I just wanted to make sure the computer is working. Everything is all you know, not having any issues. Now, I apologize ahead of time. The lighting in here is stinky. Um, my husband has got the TV occupied out in my office area, and we have not actually um, gotten a chance to put, like, French doors in so that it closes off, and he has a subwoofer and all that crazy stuff. So, um, yeah, it's way too loud out there. So you guys wouldn't even probably be able to hear me. So I do see one little eyeball on. So hey, Sandra, hello. We're just gonna say, um, I just want to make sure that everybody, if you go into the event and you're like, where is everybody? Hopefully, um, you know, if you guys happen to, I don't. It's hard for me. I don't think I can go back over to the actual event page because if I do, I think I'll lose the feed. So um, if uh, I've got Teresa Day is supposed to be helping me keep an eyeball on things, but if um, any of you happen to have um, the events page open and you see somebody pop on and they're like, hey, where's everybody? And they missed the memo. Um, I tried to send that out ahead of time to let everybody know it was the live video is on the team page. I will record this. Yay. Hi, Teresa. Um, and um, then when I record it, it'll go through YouTube, and then I'll have to save it and put the recorded video into the um, events page. So um, it will be there eventually, so if you have to go back and hit rewind or whatever, it'll be there so that you can do that. Of course, the video is always to be found in our videos file on our team page, too, um, but just to make it easier, things do get buried, and I, I want to make it as easy as possible for everyone. So, now it is officially 8 o'clock, um, and I know, like, uh, probably about 17 people or 20 people said that they planned on jumping on, so I know people are going to start coming. I should have had music playing, um, but uh, I'll give everybody a chance to get on here. I see another eyeball pop up there, so... If you are getting on, um, please say hello, I'm here, present, um, attending, um, hi, anything, just so we know you're here because your name will be entered into a drawing. Um, I'm going to do a drawing uh, kind of midway through, and um, for those who are actually taking time to be present, I want to do something to honor you guys. So, uh, Taisha, yay! I hope your gal gets on too. Um, hope that works out for her. It was kind of last minute. So, um, I also had problems. I don't know why. Me and Facebook, we just don't get along sometimes. But um, I, when I tried to send it all out to everybody instead of sending it to the team, it sent uh, invites to my personal friends. <laughs> And I'm thinking they're probably going, why is she sending me an Avon invite to learn about President's Club? <laughs> so I have no idea why it did that. But um, so I think there's a few people who um, might not have even the invite didn't get processed proper. So I'm hoping that, you know, those who know about it will be able to get on. Vicki, you're here. Hi, Vic. Glad you could make it. I don't know if Ben had to work tonight or not. I did see her say maybe or something. Um, but you guys are together, so it's not like you can't pass information along. Um, and uh, while I have those who are already on, on, um, if you guys can think of a question, which most of you are new or newer, so you may not necessarily know any questions to ask, but if you have a question that pertains to sales, um, or earning more money or anything like that, um, I'm happy to answer those questions. So if you want to start typing them in on the um, comment section, I'll be keeping an eye out for any questions or as we're going along, um, if I say something and it strikes a chord and you're like, uh, you know, what, what do you mean by that? Or, you know, you have a question, just put it in the comment section. Um, I have extra sets of eyeballs watching too. That way, as it gets up to the newsfeed, if in case I miss you, 
Um, and can everybody hear me okay? If you can hear me okay, can I get a thumbs up so I know y'all can hear me okay? Maybe you can see me, but um, I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. So if you hear me, thumbs up. I know we're good to go that people can hear me. Um, and uh, let's see. Um, and Cindy, I see, is on. Um, Lisa was on a little bit ago, but she was in the actual events page. So hopefully, um, Teresa, if you have both tabs open and you can click over just to be sure if there's anybody in the events, actual events thing, and they're wondering where I'm at, would you please click into that and say head over to the actual team page so they know. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. At least I know you're hearing me. <laughs> um, and again, I apologize for the lighting. It's kind of like fuzzy or I don't know. I tried doing the HD thing and it didn't really make a difference. So I just think it's the lighting in here is not that great. Um, but it's my daughter's room. So I'm re I'm re trying to be resourceful and make do with whatever I can, like my cat in the background. <laughs> I thought I'd give you something pretty to look at in between all of it all. So um, anyway. Uh, so without further ado, it is 8.04, so hopefully we will have more people jumping in here and joining us very soon. Hey, Gail. Um, glad you could join us. Hopefully your sister will get a chance to get on, too. Um, just a little bit about President's Club. Um, I know a lot. there's always all this hub about President's Club, and then... Um, you know, then the idea of, okay, so we all want to hit President's Club, but why? What is President's Club? And so in the actual event, I did go in and I did post a picture of Miss Al Mrs. Albie, um, our original. She started it all um, way back in the day. And um, it's kind of a unique story about her because we were, we were originally, when we first started, a we were called the Perfume Factory, I believe. So we only majored and minored in perfume. So um, Avon has really, really come a long way. Elizabeth, thank you for joining. Uh, I'm going to try to keep remembering as people are coming on, you know, hopefully if, even if you're on, but you haven't said hello, we just need to see your name in there so we can put you in for the drawing. Um, if you have any questions along the way, feel free to put them in the comment section. Um, and I will try to answer those as we're going along. Um, and also um, in the actual event page, um, I also shared um, a few videos. So hopefully you got a chance to see those videos. Um, one, I'm pretty sure one was Milagros Garcia, um, and she has lots of sales um, and does very well at, with sales out and about. And then the other one was, um, um, oh, wait. My mind just Georgiana Haynes, um, really pretty black girl. Um, she's adorable. I just love her. So I have two different people in videos sharing a little bit about PC, and she actually um, and I didn't bring out of the um, and it, I don't know this lighting is so bad here. I don't know that you'd really see the gist of how beautiful Miss Alby is, but um, now it's kind of changed. So. Uh, it used to be that you hit your $10,000 in sales and you automatically qualified to get your Miss Albie um, and they would give her to you at President's Club luncheon. And then um, then they started doing it where she was coming to your house. So, um, gosh, I hope it's not that I have a bad connection because I keep feeling like I get fuzzy and then like, you, that, like and, well, I see me. I don't know if you guys can see me. Hopefully you see me <laughs> or at least hear me. I don't know if it's getting fuzzy and in and out or not. So if it does, please tell me, you know, that way I'll kind of slow things down or start over if I have to. Um, but if you guys notice that it's like you can't see me, let me know. Um, anyway, uh, so there are two videos there. And Georgiana Hines um, talks about um, that, you know, how she really treasures her Mrs. Albie and, um, just knowing that Mrs. Albie, what she did in the beginning, she paved the way for women, um, you know, before it was even popular for women to be working outside the home and doing any kind of job. It was a, something she could do door to door. Okay, everybody's saying clear so far. So 
Uh, Elizabeth's got some a little bit of issue. Okay, so far everybody. Hmm. Lisa's not on the video yet. No, she is. I have not seen her say hi. Lisa, if you are on here, will you say hi so we know you're on here? I know actually, um, Teresa, if you don't mind, I think she was uh, commenting in that top post that not the very last one where I said, let's get the party started, but the one right before that where I was talking about President's points, she was trying to check her points and she commented in there. So maybe you could go in and comment and say, Lisa, when you're when you're done checking points or whatever, hop on over to the video so she knows that it's over on the pay, actual page and not in case she forgot. I, I, th I thought I told her, but I might not have. I talked to too many people. I can't keep it all straight. Thank you. Oh, she's here. Okay, yay. All right, that sounds good. I'm glad she's here. I don't, I didn't see her name pop up, but if you saw it, that's all that counts. We just know she's here. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to explain just a little bit more about PC, just so you understand. Um, there, I printed out some of the papers. Um, I did put this on the page. This, there is a copy of this. Um, says, Dear Representative, I am so pleased to present our 2017 President's Recognition Program, also known as, in case you hear this lingo, yay, Lisa, hi, <laughs> glad you got on, um, also known as PRP, which stands for President's Recognition Program. So you're, you see a lot of um, lingo, and you're like, what on earth does that mean? You'll see LOA, and you'll go, LOA, what's that? You know, you're like, I need a, a PhD to figure out what's, you know, what's going on with Avon and uh, um, and send out an SOS because I've still not figured it out yet. <laughs> I don't know. It just gets kind of crazy because they abbreviate a lot of things. So if you never, if you aren't sure about what something is, um, definitely, um, you know, oh no, Cindy's having trouble getting her website up. Okay. So is it working on your phone, Cindy? Could you hear me from your phone? Um, I don't know if people, I see live videos on my phone usually, but if for some reason um, you have to go back in and watch it, I'm going to do, I'm going to save this and then it'll go into YouTube. So I am almost fair to certain Midlands that you'll be able to view a YouTube video on your phone very easily, Cindy Starbird. So um, if for some reason you have problems viewing this whole thing and you get bits and pieces for now and you have to go back in, I will be doing it, recording it to YouTube and then uploading it into the event. Um, okay, good. At least you can hear. That's good. Um, so this representative page, basically, they the program is designed to recognize and reward an elite group of representatives and leaders, those representatives with outstanding award sales of $10,000 or more. Um, and I can tell you, when I first started Avon, um, I missed hitting President's Club by around $1,000, maybe just a little bit less. I didn't have an upline. All I had was our district manager who was in charge of like 900 plus people in our area. Um, so I don't think she was really keeping a good eye on what was going on with me. And of course, this is your own business. Yes, Mo's room. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I tried to put something fun back there, Lisa. <laughs> I guess otherwise, it's like clothes and everything is a disaster. Um, but anyway, um, so Avon does reward us. And I know in the beginning, I was like, oh, man. You know, nobody told me, and it was like after the fact, my district manager calls me and says, do you know you were only like, I, I actually, I know it was less than a thousand. I want to say it was like $800. So, you know, had she told me that a couple campaigns before, I maybe could have done a fundraiser. Um, I have also learned that, and I will probably do an, like upload it into the events page where you guys will be able to see um, the pictures, but there is, hey Monica, glad you could join us. Um, again, I'm going to say if anybody else hops on or is just getting on, um, if you are here and please say hello so we know that you're here. 
um, because your name will go in a drawing. If we don't know that you're on here, then it will be hard for us to know. And you may say later, hey, I was there, but we didn't know. So um, definitely, if you're here, say so, and um, you will be counted. Even if for some reason your computer goes kaput, though, at least you tried to show up. It's not your fault. Um, and you can watch it later, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to stay on live. Uh, so anyway, I was really, really close, but she called me after the fact. And do you know, I like wanted to kick myself for days because I thought if I'd only known, hey, Melissa, you made it. Yay. Traveling. You made it home safe. That's good. Um, so, uh, you know, that's huge. And here's this is where I'm coming. Very heartfelt for all of you. I don't want you guys to get close to this point and then, you know, somehow somebody I'm trying to watch everything I can. I don't have 900 people. To be keeping an eyeball on but it's still a few hundred people it is not always easy to catch when some especially if you are under if you're not my first generation and you're underneath somebody else even harder for me to catch where you're at what's going on with you and so if you have happened to have an, uh, an inactive upline say that 10 times fast you happen to have somebody who's not really doing a lot. They got you signed up, but they're not as involved um, due to, you know, situations or whatever. Stuff has just gotten in the way. Um, I do. I know there are some other people that are a few in depth that I have been personally trying to help as much as I can because your upline hasn't really been available to help you. And, you know, I hate that. But we t got to team up together. To keep an eye on everything so that's why I'm doing this to try to help you so that you can keep track of everything and know exactly where you stand and I don't want that to happen to you that somebody has to call you um, after campaign 26 is over and say oh man you missed it by $500 oh man you missed it by $50 oh I can't believe it you missed it by $5 Ugh, that will kill you <laughs> Nothing like missing a sales hot point from with five dollars. I mean that that's happened to a few people because it just fell through the cracks. So you are this is your business. You are in charge of your business. Um, so definitely, definitely be watching it. Um, and that is also why I posted um, this <coughs> tracking sheet. Excuse me, I did post this tracking sheet at the bottom. You can see there's numbers. The first one on this side over here, the first one line you'll see if you come back to the top, that is for President's Club and that is the $10,000. Um, this is on that events page and there is a link so that you can see um you know print it out if you'd like or just go on and save it to another spot on your computer however you want to do it but that is showing you that each campaign how it breaks down so if your first campaign if you're with us from campaign one until 26 um it's of course less work that you're going to have to do but ideally i don't really know the best way to say it other than you know, if you're if you're only going to get started just to, um, to, you know, if it's just a little side something for you, this is that's all fine and dandy, and that's good if that's what you guys want. Um, so Terry is on, yay, 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 yay. Okay, glad glad to see Terry's on. Um, so um, you know, if you can keep a a tally for yourself, which is what then there's also. Um, I was explaining on the event page, there is a place for you to go. It's called your goal card. Um, and that goal card helps you because you can see what you've been selling. And then it's going to actually populate the number um, across the way for you and tell you exactly how much now. Okay, so let's say you had a bigger sale in campaign one than $385. Um, so now, you know, your next sale, you don't need as much. You, every campaign, that's basically what they're saying you have to sell is $385. Just FYI. Just so you know, if you were in at campaign one, you need to be selling at least $385 every campaign all the way through 26 in order to hit that $10,000 goal. Now, um, let's, let's make it more round numbers. 
why not shoot for a four hundred dollar order because then if something happens and you have a few items that don't come or they're no longer available you'll still hit your 385 dollars goal so that that makes more sense right um so give yourself round numbers to go off of um and then you know this this actually breaks it up by quarters so you, we've got four quarters a, in the year and it breaks it up by quarters so by campaign seven um, you would have two thousand six hundred ninety five dollars by campaign 13 you would have uh, five thousand and five dollars by campaign 19 you would have seven thousand three hundred and thirteen dollars and then, of course, by the end of the year, you would be at the ten thousand. Actually, if you sold that three hundred eighty-five dollars, you'd be at ten thousand and ten dollars. So you would be a little a smidge over. Um, but they give you that three eighty-five as a goal to set for yourself. Um, so that that's important to know. If you don't have goals, you're not going to get anywhere. Um, and so back to the um, PC luncheon and why you want to do it. Um, the benefits of President's Club um, recognition, there's enough people that are getting on, so I figured it's okay to go ahead and say this now. Um, the benefits are, um, depending on your PRP level, you can earn up to 50% um, on your sales. You'll earn points that can be redeemed for gifts of your choice, which is where Lisa was at just a little bit ago because she saw that I posted um, that, where I've earned points over the time and then they stack up too. They don't like disappear right away. Um, so, you know, if you, if you sell extra, you'll earn more points. So like if last year at this time I sold $300, but this year I sold $400 because it was a hundred dollars more, I, I earned points because I had additional earnings. So every time you have additional earnings from what you had before, um, they they continue to grow uh lisa says she got lost wait got lost as in what i was talking about or the video cut out i'm not sure i'm not sure what you meant so if i confused you i'm sorry i'll try i'll explain better or ask your question exactly so i know maybe better how to answer because i'm not sure what you were lost on <laughs> a couple of things there um and also, you receive an invitation to the President's Club Luncheon, um, which is a free lunch for all of us. We get, you know, we get dressed up nice and Sunday's best to be recognized on stage, just like they do at your J-O-B, not. <laughs> I never worked for anybody who, um, there's probably a few good companies out there, you know, really high touting companies. Um, that do give out some awards for their employees, but not very many. I got lost trying to find my reward. Oh, the rewards thing is what you're lost, but you found it now, right? So you know where to go. If not, I will help you with that after this. Um, but uh, yeah, you're not, you're, and I didn't even bring, I posted pictures of my Albies in our events page. I posted pictures of my trophies. Um, and I can even tell you one, um, one time while I was still living in Florida, um, I had almost 300 people on the team and I've moved around a lot and there's been a lot of district changes, a lot of stuff changing with Avon. So a lot of people decided they didn't like the changes and some people quit and it was kind of very sad. But between that and me moving, um, you know, it was just, there was a lot going on. So I'm, I'm building back and I'm working towards that goal again. Um, but I never give up. And that's the important thing. Just never give up. And we have some great people here on this team. People that if I never moved, I probably would have ne never met some of you. So I'm thankful. God puts me where I am for a reason and I'm thankful for it. But um, when I was at the PC luncheon, um, I was one of the top, leadership people and I was very unsuspecting had no idea um, they put the top three people who had done the most with their leadership business on stage they handed us a rose they sang wind beneath my wings and yes I cried <laughs> I was totally shocked um, and they had somebody personally come up and sing to us and it was a very moving it's it's a it's not just let me go eat some lunch 
it's very special because you know all the hard work you've done all year and you know you should be rewarded for all that not to mention that when i have had some other people who've made it to pc um maybe because we're spread out but some of my people who are in south carolina would have been or were within driving distance even after i moved so I drove and I said, hey, Avon, can I be a part of their PC event? You don't have to feed me. I, I know I'm not registered for that PC event, but I just want to see my people walk up on stage. I want to see them be rewarded for their hard work. And they let me. So I did go visit some of my other people who made PC um, and watch them get awards. And again, that makes me cry. <laughs> I'm not not sad tears, of course. I'm happy. I'm happy for you guys because that's huge. Um, and I know it's a lot of work. And I can't, I could not in good conscience encourage you guys to do it if I weren't doing it. So every year ever since I hit President's Club that first year, the year after that I hit PC. And then the next year after that we moved and I hit Honor Society. And I haven't stopped. I've kept doing Honor Society every year. And then a few years later, we moved again, and I hit Rose Circle. But Rose Circle is $30,000. That is me by myself. That's not the team. Honor Society is $20,000. But let me tell you, if you make it to Rose Circle, you're going to feel like a one on paper hanger. <laughs> it just is that. It's a lot of sales and a lot of people. Um, Sandra's asking, on the PRP, does it build on previous year to reach? No, it's a, it is a start over every year. So um, it's not to say that because you missed the first three campaigns, you're out of the running. Or, you know, there's a lot of people who come in at the middle of the year. And because Christmas is our biggest time of the year, they still hit PRP. They still hit it. They still make President's Club. Um, hey, Lynn, glad you could pop on. Um, yeah, President's Club still happens for even people who join in the middle of the year. It just depends on what, you know, what you get set up, how many customers you reach, um, what kind of incentives and things you offer to your customers. Can you pull in some helpers along the way? Um, and I'm going to cover a few of those things when I go through, I have a list of 10 things that I was going to share with you guys. Um, but there's definitely ways to, you know, make it happen. So um, I was going to invite somebody. I'm just going to try it because I've never done it before. Um, do I have anybody who's willing to be invited as a friend? You'll go up in the top corner and we converse. And I believe everybody can hear both of us. But if you want to share some of your questions, um, you know, that kind of thing, put, put a me down in the comment section so that I know if you're willing to do it, I'll go ahead and invite you now. Um, and then we can answer some of your questions real quick. And then I'll go into, we'll get out of that. And then I'll go on to giving you the tips. So... Teresa, you're willing to do it. Okay, be brave. Let me try this. I hope I don't lose you guys because I've never done this before. So if I do, I'll come right back in to where I was at. So we'll be right back on the team page. But here goes nothing. Invite friend, it says. Um, let's see. It's making me type it. Invite. And done. Okay, so I guess, Teresa, you're going to see an invite from me, and then you must have to accept the invite, and then we go from there. Um, so we'll give a few seconds, I'm sure. I don't, I don't even know what I see on my end when that happens. I think she just pops up um, once she's on there. So once she's on there, we'll, we'll go from there. But anyway, um, so the PC luncheon is not just about having lunch. It's, it's much more. Um, and President's Club is um, actually what you get from President's Club, um, reasons why you want to be in President's Club. You will get guaranteed 40% earnings um, and then 25% on any fixed items. So as there are some new people on, so just to be clear, um, if you didn't know this already, 
uh, you get full earnings on all Avon products, all core line products, but any um, clothing and uh, Avon living items, things for your home, it didn't go through. Oh, I'm sad. Okay. It does still have, well, it says invite friends. Um, and I, it, I hit done. I don't know where it's going to show up, though. It says, it already says you're invited, so I can't re-invite you. Um, well, maybe it's just taking a school to, good old time to pop up. I'm not really sure where that invite pops up at. Um, anybody else? Willing to, willing to, um, now I don't know how to get out of that. Oh, okay, there we go. Anybody else willing to give it a try? Uh, oh, refresh my page. Thank you, Lynn. Good idea. Oh, but if I refresh, am I going to lose you guys? I hope not. Uh, wait, not me refresh my page. Teresa refresh her page. Is that what you're saying, Lynn? Because if I refresh, I think I lose you guys because I think it'll say reload. I think. I'm not sure. Um, well, Teresa, if you heard that, try reloading and see if it pops up. Um, okay, so 40% earnings guaranteed, 25% on fixed earnings items. We just talked about what fixed earnings items are. Um, you can order up to three demos out of your What's New. That's huge um, because not everything in the demo book um, gives you that opportunity. Only if something like this says no limit then you're able to order as much as you want of it um, if it doesn't say no limit like this page has a bunch of necklaces unfortunately when you're not in PC you have to pick and choose which one do you want you can only get one um, and then now another little tip that I will tell you about the what's new this what's new says um, to buy your demos. It says it in the top corner here. Buy your demos. Gosh, that's not very clear. I apologize. But it says to buy your demos in C3 and C4. So here's the scoop. You can back order out of your what's new also. So you can take advantage of the prices or the specials that even if your sales aren't where you want them to be at the moment, um, you can still take advantage of the special offers and you can go back a few campaigns. So the last time to the order out of this one would be in C4, right? So C4 we're all in right now, but if up to campaign six, you could still back order out of this what's new. So hopefully that makes sense. So you guys know to take advantage um, of every single possible thing you can to make your business grow. Um, so Teresa, she refreshed. Are you there? Did you did you see it? We're not having any luck. Does anybody else want to try um, to go live with me and you be up in the corner? I, I mean, it says invite friends. When I hit the invite, it showed that I invited Teresa, but for whatever reason, it's not connecting to her. I don't know if I try somebody else if it'll work or not. Um, so if somebody else is brave enough and wants to, to pop on, say me, and I'll send you an invite. Um, and then, of course, you get the invitation to the President's Club luncheon, the PRP tribute is what they call it. Um, we celebrate your birthday and holidays with gifts of 25 points. So you actually get points build up to go towards um, that program that I shared on um, the actual event page. So there's a spot where you can redeem your points and then your points, they can either, sometimes they've even let us redeem points for um, like RepFest. So RepFest costs $119 or whatever, you know, or that's our early bird because I think it'll be like 130 or something like that. So whatever 119 totals up to in points might be, you know, 250 points. The points are a little bit more than what, they're not dollar for points dollar for dollar or dollar for points, but um, looks like somebody else jumped on. If you, so any new people are on, um, please say, hey, hi, hello, I'm here, so we can get your name in the drawing, because I will be doing a drawing for those who physically pop on tonight and um, try to attend, um, and it looks like another person jumped on. Hello, whoever jumped on. Um, 
And so let's see, where was that? So 25 points added to um, your um, holidays and um, birthdays. And then exclusive gift presented at the PRP tribute for the highest level of achievement. Um, they have, and at that PRP um, event, they call it a gala. Uh, they also have drawings. So we have, we're all given tickets and they get do giveaways. So not just the people who've earned stuff. You sit, you walk into your table. It's beautiful. They have it set up very nice, a beautiful centerpiece. Um, when it's all said and done, somebody wins the centerpiece. Um, and uh, of course, your food is great, and you have, you're in the company of other great Avon representatives, so that makes it fun. Um, and then uh, you have a piece of jewelry or two, depends on what you've earned. Um, that are sitting at your seat waiting for you. You have a little goodie bag waiting for you that's got some full-size products in it of upcoming things um, for spring or not spring, but over the summer or maybe for fall. Um, they drop some of those in the bag to give us a chance to try something that's going to be up and coming. Um, and the PRP this year is in May. I don't know a date for us yet for those who qualified, but um, I do know they're going to start doing them in May because um, I had asked because of the cruise, knowing that was in April, I didn't know how that was going to work out. So they did they did confirm that May is going to be the month for PRP this year. Um, and what else do you get? You do get a pin that it says your level of achievement. So whether you're President's Club, Honor Society, Rose Circle, on up, you do get a pin. Um, 400 points to redeem for your Mrs. Albie Award, or you can use those 400 points towards something else at the rewards headquarters. So it's your choice. You know, I've stacked up as you, if you went over to the page, if you went to the event page and saw it, I have a lot of Albies. I have one curio cabinet that I just got before Christmas, finally got it filled up, and I am to the brim with my Albies. And I love them and collecting them, but I have a small house. Um, so I think they were realizing, and for the longest time, because I kept moving, I never even bothered to take her out of the box because I didn't want her to get broken. Um, they're porcelain. They're beautiful. They're handcrafted, painted. They're just, they're beautiful. Um, but even if you earn just a couple of them to say that you have a few because it's an achievement and it's something that you personally um, can look at and know that, you know, you can see what Mrs. Albie is for that year. And if she's one that you're like, that one's really pretty. I love it. Um, I, I want to get that one. Then get that one, you know, but, and if you want to use your points for something else, no one will chastise you for it. Um, I'm at a point where I'm running out of room, so I'm not ordering any more Miss Albies um, going forward. So um, my, my points are going to be used to redeem on other things because I'm at full capacity with Miss Albie. But if you have not gotten one, you will want to earn at least one so that you can say, I mean, you're earning them. And then if you get the Honor Society, it's a teacup set. Um, so if you look inside my curio, the pictures, you'll see some teacup sets. Um, Rose Circle, it's a plate. Um, I had a couple of those. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, and you make it great. So that's the important thing. And you get all those trophies for all the different, you know, sales and leadership and titling. And, you know, they're keeping track of all that stuff. You think nobody's watching you, but they're watching you, and they want to reward you for it. So let them. <laughs> let them. This is a good thing. We do, You don't get this at a job. At least most people don't. Um, so, you know, I do have, this is actually in there too. Um, it's on the events page. This actually talks about the rest of all of it, and I don't want to take up too much time um, on just explaining, you know, what it is because you can go in and actually look it up yourself. Um, but each point, points that are earned along the way, um, they have stuff at the rewards headquarters vacations, home entertainment, electronics, shopping, dining with friends, home appliances. Gives you a little bit of an idea um, of some things that are available at that rewards headquarters. Um, 
and it's this one I think I don't know this it hasn't updated from 2017 to 18 but um, they are saying how they give you know birthday birthday points and um, sales recognition so as you bump up the line you're going to get more points so when you have achieved President's Club you actually earn 400 400 points you get to Honor Society you earn 800 points if you get to Rose Circle you earn 1,600 points. If you achieve David H. McConnell Club, that's 5,000 points. If you achieve President's Council, that's 10,000 points. If you get to President's Inner Circle, that is 15,000 points. And buddy, you're going to, what is it, Maui, um, where they're sending everybody this year. Um, I think there was a pin. Lynn, you you had a pin. You said, if you're still on here, um, there what you had a pin or it's a Hawaii. I can't remember now. Anyway, um, big stuff. So those are, you know, that's really getting on up the ladder, but we're just shooting for 10,000. Okay. That's good. 10,000 is good. We can, it's very doable. If I can do it, this is what I say. Y'all that know me or have gotten to know me, you want to, you're going to say if that crazy brunette can do it, <laughs> I can do it. You know? Um, so I'm going to, let's see. Oh, what time is it? 8.30. Um, I, Teresa, if you're still here, because I didn't see that it let you get on, um, remind me at like 8, uh, yeah, about 8.45, we'll go ahead and do the drawing. So we'll put everybody's names in, like I had mentioned to you earlier, and we'll do the um, random name picker, and then get all their names in and then if you'll text me with the name of who who our winner is i will um announce that here on the video okay thank you um so i already covered about the benefits of president's club um we'll see <sighs> is and do you guys actually know how to find your goal card um, if you don't, that is over on the events page. I showed where to find, uh, where to go. I circled the little thing at the top, the where you want to go to find it. Um, and then an arrow to the side pointing to goal card so that you can pull it up and see your goal. Um, mine is already set for Beyond President's Club because last year I made Honor Society. Year before that, it was Honor Society. So. Um, so Avon is tracking me for Honor Society. So I know if I hit, well, at some point I'll hit the President's Club way before um, because I'm just, you know, once you get going, that's another thing. Once you hit PC, very unlikely you won't hit it the following year. You, you do requalify each year. Um, so, you know, as you hit it, like if you hit it, let's say by campaign 13 or 14 um, of this year, you're from that point on you're guaranteed um that 40 percent earnings so even if your sales fall be below that 488 dollars whatever it is to actually hit the president's club the 40 percent um see what they're saying is you don't even, you have to have 385 dollars but that's not you getting your 40 percent earnings so why not shoot for what you would get your 40 percent earnings um, in the meantime, if that's your goal, then you're sure to hit this and make PC, if, if that makes any sense. Um, so a few things that you can do to um, make PC this year, and I wrote down a few different thing, ideas here. Um, one is plan. Without a plan, you got nothing. <laughs> Um, I have done my, in 16 years of doing this business, I've done my fair share of run, throw mud on the wall, and hope something sticks. Run, throw mud on the wall, and hope something sticks. And that, you know, that might work okay for a little while. Oh, I'm getting fuzzy. I don't know if that's me or the computer. I'm not sure what's going on there. Sorry if y'all are, I hope you're not losing me. Um, anyway, that is not a really good plan. I'm just going to be honest. It's not. Um, because I now I understand that there is a goal to be hit and there the average order from a customer is $25 um, and this is sort of a napkin plan if you will um, they taught it to us a while back but it's still good um, it still works today 
So if the average customer's order is about $25 and you are able to come up with 20 people ordering $25, that gives you a $500 order. At a $500 order, you're making 40%, give or take, because you have some 20% stuff in there. But let's just say, let's just call it all round numbers and say you didn't have any 20% things in there and um, everything was all core line products. Um, and a $500 order you, at 40%, you earn $200. So we have two campaigns a month. So $200 plus $200 is $400 for the month. So if you just think about that, $400 for the month, if that is a goal for you, would you like to be bringing in $400 a month? What would that help you pay? An electric bill, a car payment, um, some money back for college for your kids, um, maybe putting money aside for vacation. Once we get closer to fall, how about Christmas? You know, what is it that you want money for? And we need to really probably start thinking about making a dream board. Um, maybe what I'll do is another something where we go live and everybody can share if I can get this thing to work and do the invite and invite you over and have you guys share your dream board. That would be awesome. Or just have you go live on your own and say, here's my dream board. Doesn't have to be a long video. You can just share your dream board. Um, but, you know, what would you do if you had $400 extra coming in a month? I'm just trying to keep it basic. That's where you can start. That isn't the ceiling. That isn't it for you. Um, or you could do more. Double your sales. I like I said, I've been at Rose Circle. That's that's selling about twelve hundred dollars every campaign. Um, and so if I just told you a five hundred dollar sale, you can do the math. You know, that's almost that's more than double what I just said coming in a month. So it's up to you. It's your business. What do you want from your business? You've got to plan. It, there has to be something set. So I know I sent a thing out in um, our team page. Who wants some help? You know, how because there's the boss life ticket thing going on right now. Who wants some help? Who wants to know what, what should they be doing? So I have a few people I've already started reaching out to see if we can get a plan of action. Um, I know I am going to be meeting with um, Lynn this Wednesday. So um, personally, because she lives here and it works out that we can meet. Um, and while I'm thinking of it, um, I have not posted it, <laughs> but I am going to be having a surgery. So for those of you who are actually here and available and know, can hear or know, I probably won't be on as much. And Teresa has kindly um, volunteered to kind of help out wherever I needed some help. Um, and so she's going to kind of help manage the team page for me um, while I'm at bay for a little bit. Um, I may access them things from my phone, but I don't know that I'll get in front of the computer, uh, how much I'll be able to do. So it just depends, but um, I will be out of commission. That's Thursday. So from Thursday until, I don't know, probably the following Thursday, probably be at least a week before I really get back actively doing stuff from what I can tell. I pray, hope and pray it goes well. Maybe, I, you know, things will be different than what I am anticipating. I just know this girl's old and it takes a while to heal. <laughs> so I'm just being real with myself. <laughs> um, but anyway, planning. So number one, make sure you have a plan. Without a plan, we go nowhere. That's like saying I want to go to um, Food Lion and um, I have a car. I have a vehicle to get me there but I never get in the car. I, ne I say, I need to go get groceries. I'm, I'm going to do it. I, and here's my list and I need to go do it. And all I keep saying is I need to go do it. I, I need to get in the car and I need to go do it. Then my husband comes home. Ooh, my kids come home. Where's food, mom? There's no food in the refrigerator. Where's food? There's no food in the pantry. I don't know. I need to get to food lion. I just, I know I have a car. I know I have a vehicle to get there and I know I got the list, but I need to go do it. <laughs> so I'm trying to give you something very comparable from a mom to a mom, because most of you probably are moms. So, um, you know, if you don't get your groceries, somebody's going to be hounding you about where's the groceries. So, um, you know, not that anybody's going to be hounding you about where's the money, but, you know, all we can do is kick ourselves later because we didn't do something. We had the vehicle, we had the list, we have a plan, 
but we didn't follow it. So you got to have a plan. Number two, adding helpers. Um, just going to touch on that briefly, but helpers can be huge for you because um, they might be somebody that you um, maybe you approached them and said, hey, do you want to, you know, would you ever consider selling Avon? Would you ever consider joining the team? I'd love to have you on my team. I mean, there's so many ways you can slice it. But um, no matter what you say, they're like, no, that's just not for me. Or, you know, and if you even tried to ask more questions and really when you get to the bottom of it it's not that they have anything against Avon they buy products from you so if you were able to say to them um, you know I can either give you um, a free product an Avon product for bringing me orders or I can give you 10% discount off of your total order whichever you choose um, and then you know, if they give you, if they bring like a $50 order, then they're probably only going to get a $10 item. If they give you a bigger order, you have to consider, you know, what it is you're making and how much of that, you know, you don't want to go in a hole. So you have to do the math to figure that out. But helpers could be huge because sometimes people don't really want to get involved per se. They don't want to have to be the ones keen in the orders and they don't want to have to go everywhere to deliver to people, but they don't mind taking orders to work. This is the only place I have to go, um, or you know, I have a couple friends at church, so I could give them a book, and then I got my work, and this is all I really do. I go home, I go to work. I go home, go to work. Go to church, go home. Go home, go to work. You know, these are the places that I go, and I don't really go anyplace else. Um, my time is consumed, so that's all I do, and if I can, get you four or five customers who get orders and I turn in the orders to you, you get credit for the sale and you reward your helper. So she could, your helper could bring in an extra two or $300 for you every campaign. So then again, that is boosting your sales. You're helping to get your award sales where you want it to be. Not to mention that every campaign, um, if you have a few hundred dollars extra in there, that you didn't go running around to go get, but you saw one person who passed out five books or seven books or whatever you give her, um, you were managing to pull some extra orders there, that boosts your sales too. So you could earn 40% and hit almost that $500 level because you pulled $300 on your own and you got two helpers giving you a couple hundred dollars. So one pulls 100, another one pulls 150, and now where the boom, there you go, you're at your $500 goal. Um, and each time you're going to be earning 40%. Um, so it makes it worth it. And so helpers is so planning and helpers. Number three, your online e store, me and that just goes without saying. If you haven't gotten into social media, obviously, those of you who are here, you are on Facebook. <laughs> Um, but if you haven't made a business page for yourself, please, I can't stress it enough, make a business page for yourself. I just got tossed in Facebook jail right before Christmas. Some people know about it. Other people didn't because you might be newer and I just haven't talked about it because it was so frustrating. Nothing like being in jail right before Christmas. Facebook jail, let's be, be clear about that. Um, but anyway, it, you, I was stuck. I couldn't post in groups. I couldn't even in my own group. I couldn't comment. Couldn't help no one. I hate that feeling in my hands being tied. So, um, but Facebook is cracking down. Scott Kramer has got all kinds of teaching, training, and it's now called Social Avon. It's it's not um, Social Selling Simplified. They're calling it Social Avon. Um, so the page is different a little bit, but it's still the same. Uh, they just changed the name. That's all. But if you are not on it please, please message me, reach out to me, or comment in this video, say, please add me to that page, I'm not on it, I didn't know about it, I'd like to be added, um, so that I get on the right page, but that is huge, he's got a lot of training, and there's a big thing about to roll out that you guys are absolutely going to love, um, I, I was in a pilot program, already been using it for a good couple of months, so some of the posts that I put into my business page, some of you are friends with me there or have liked my page, so you've seen some of it. A few of you have even asked, where are you getting those pictures from? Because you're not stupid. You're like, wait, she's getting that from somewhere. 
And we had that discussion in the pilot group. We're like, what well, are we going to tell our people? You're telling us to be quiet and keep it a secret because only we're supposed to be doing this. But I'm not very good at keeping secrets for my team because I love you guys and I want you to know about it. <laughs> so it's kind of hard. But now we finally are at liberty to share and say, and I think it's on this, the 12th, um, that they're actually releasing everything. I want to say it's the 12th. Um, so it is coming, and there is a training, I think, tomorrow night, um, a webinar about it. So um, keep your eyes peeled. Any chance you get to learn with Scott Kramer and the multi-brain crew, they're amazing. Um, in fact, I was having issues with trying to get my video um, to the point where I could record it so that it could go on YouTube. And after that whole Facebook jail incident, it seemed like things went bonkers. And I thought, oh, it's because they put me in jail. But no, it's actually Facebook's just made changes. So this is another reason why you need to have a business page. Um, just said you invited me to see the video. Okay, so did you click on that just did that thing? That's weird. It took an awful long time for it to show up. Um, but it might be because I keep seeing this get fuzzy on my end. Um, I'm talking to Teresa, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> I'm reading over here. Um, if it lets you on, Teresa, just jump on. Um, I'll see you up in the corner, or I should, um, and we can go from there. Um, but anyway, that, that whole thing with Facebook jail, you don't want to be there. That is an awful place to be. Um, you feel helpless and you can't get anything done. Uh, oh, there's more here. Oh, Denise Woods here. Let's see. Um, gosh. Okay. I didn't roll this up. People have been talking. I apologize, guys. Um, Gail had to pop off for a little bit. And, oh, Lisa asked a question. All right, um, this is where I struggle because that thing starts feeding, but then it stops. Um, PRP is president's, yes. Yes, Lisa, president's recognition. Um, I just said that, I don't know if, if you were on when I said it. President's recognition program, PRP. Um, oh, and Sandra answered for you. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I missed a whole bunch of people. Oh, my word. I'm so sorry, you guys. Hello, Sandy. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Hello, Denise Wood. Um, she needs a new plan. Figure out what's going to work. And I know you're not on my team, Denise, but I'm happy to help you with that, too. Um, oh, okay. Got her first winner. And Melissa Holcomb is looking for help. I will definitely help you, Melissa. We'll work on a plan. Um, and, you know, that's the thing, too, if you're, depending on what you feel, you might feel you're not good at talking to people. Um, those Bombita bags are sensational. It, they're a great conversation piece. Um, sometimes, for whatever reason, you feel awkward handing a book. I mean, I, I'm telling you, these things, you need to walk proud, puff your chest up, carry your book, chin up, be happy, be proud, smile on your face. This is awesome. This is amazing. We have so much more to offer people than, and I say this not to bash any other company out there, but we have more to offer than MK. We have more to offer than 31. I'm only giving partial names here. We have more to offer than Pop. We have more to offer than Tup. We have more to offer than... You know, and some of you are either know people or are a part of some of those other groups. Um, but you know in your heart, you can only sell so much of that. It's just the truth because that's, that's all there is. So we have so much more that if, you know, if a person says to you, I can't use that because I'm allergic, well, get specific. What are you allergic to? Perfumes? You can't wear perfumes. Okay, I see you're wearing a really pretty necklace. You wear jewelry? Yeah, Avon has jewelry? Flip open that book, show them the jewelry. They're gonna be impressed. And we don't just have costume jewelry. We have sterling silver. People who are sensitive, oh, I can only wear sterling. Great, we have that. Now we have stainless steel, even better. Um, you know, it, there's just so much that we have. I bet I'm trying to scan, scroll through this. <laughs> Sorry, it was feeding when it quit. Um, Thank you, Cindy Starbird, for prayers. Um, and, oh, 
Lynn's reminding me about the time for the drawing. Now, I did say something to Teresa about giving me a name. She probably gave me a name. Let me see if I've got a name in my... Hmm. Okay, looking to see who our winner is. Oh, brother. <laughs> and questions that I missed. Um, wait, I'm confused. Okay, Sandra wants to know if, okay, I answer Sandra's question. Um, oh, only invited to view the video, but not join. Maybe there's another spot. It says invite friends. Uh, okay, if anybody knows any more about how to invite your friend to a live video, because this is new to me. Um, please add you back. Gail says, please add her back. Uh, okay, Gail. I don't know if you're, you sent the message, but I'll type your name in here because for some reason you couldn't see the video. I'm inviting you back. Um, and hopefully that works. Uh, wait. Check to see, and Lisa Ritter's asking me, check to see if you're on it. You think you are, but you're not sure. Wait, not sure. Oh, brother, now I just totally lost. I'm trying to figure this out. Sorry. Um, okay, have the winner. Uh, Teresa Day, you said Denise. You're meaning Denise Wood. <laughs> Teresa, if you're on here and you're seeing or hearing this, so am I getting it right? Is Denise Wood the winner? Give me a thumbs up if she is. Um, oh, and Lynn Daniels is confirming that social selling kicked off today. Okay, I was thinking it was either today or tomorrow. There was something they were they were doing some training. Um, Christine Gendron got on, so we're adding her to. We added her. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, so let's see who else. Oh my gosh, I missed a whole bunch of questions. I apologize. Um, <laughs> Teresa even had offered to come here. I don't know how much help that would be, Teresa. You're really doing more help. I just realized I didn't see your message right away. Okay. Um, everybody's covered. Okay, I think I answered. Hopefully, I answered everybody's questions. Um, I wait. I never showed the ability to get on the video in the corner. Wait, and what's Taisha? Is Taisha the winner? <laughs> Who's the winner? I'm confused. Um, I looked on my text messages, Teresa, but now I don't know who was my winner. You said got a winner. I see Taisha's name and I see Denise. So I was confused. Who's which one's which? Or I said I was going to do two different drawings, and those are the those are the names of the two. So can you clarify that for me? Um, okay, moving right along. Now, e-store, we were going on about the e-store, and I can't go on enough about that, but if you guys, you know, just click into all that, because that's huge, and that is the way of the future. Avon realizes that. That is why we are getting trading with Scott Kramer, and Avon is paying. There is nobody out there, no other companies that will do that. Teresa's calling me. Pardon me. okay okay so i'm delayed i hear me on your thing that's weird <laughs> um oh sorry i know i'm looking at the time and i know i'm going longer than i wanted oh okay okay got it got it okay Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. They, it seems like that's working. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, Taisha um, McCrib, uh, Crib McFadden, you are the winner. Our first prize winner for showing up, being on, and you're our first winner. There will be a second one. But Taisha, you're the first, and I just received 
stuff, so I don't forget. So make sure to get you uh, your goodies out in the mail. And okay, so we've already covered. Oh, I've only gotten three. This is sad. I'm sorry. There's so much to really share. So planning, um, using um, your reaching out to people and trying to see if you can find helpers to help you get some some more orders in and that sort of thing because people don't necessarily want to sell but they will help. Um, online e-store, just work it work it my friends work it if you don't have a um, business page I did start to mention that Facebook can put you in jail so you need to have a business page because if all you do is post all if you just kind of spew wave on all of your personal page and just you're shouting about what you want to sell this and that your personal page is intended for personal stuff now you can trickle things over from your business page and share it to your personal page but if that's initially what you set up the personal page for, um, it, or you start just going crazy like that with your sales on your personal page, they may they could shut you down and say you can't get on Facebook for two weeks. That's kind of what happened to me. So I don't want that to happen to you guys. So definitely create a business page. Um, and then if you're not sure how to do that, I can definitely help you with that too. Um, and you're And if you're not friends with me or haven't liked my business page, by all means, you're allowed, I mean, feel free, get in there, check out the page, um, see some of the things that I've put, and you are always welcome to take, borrow, steal, whatever, anything I have, just make sure you put your link in there so that your customers are to shop with you. Um, number four, order more brochures. This is your store. I cannot say it enough. I usually order probably about um, around 150 to 170 books every campaign. Um, before I moved from Rock Hill, I was ordering like 200 and I want to say it was 260. So I'm working my way back up in that direction. But um, you know, I, I know there are some people who have said, "Oh, well, I sell it. I sell, but I don't order any books." I don't know how you're selling. I mean, unless you're selling online and you're getting. I mean, and that's huge. We just was talking about that. But that takes, you have to create an online presence. You've probably got to get a blog going. Um, if you're only going to do online sales, you most definitely have to have a blog. You've got to have a spot where people connect to you. They hit a hashtag. It draws them back to you. Um, there's just a lot of stuff involved in just doing only online sales. And if that is your plan, that's quite okay. Um, but you're going to want to follow Emily Segrin. Because Emily pretty much does all of her business online. She does have a blog. She has her own web page thing going there. Like Avon doesn't want us to create our own website per se um, because Avon has a standard. It's sort of like McDonald's. You know, McDonald's isn't going to open another franchise and then let somebody go whamsy pamsy on them and like this is our new way of making a cheeseburger. And that's not how McDonald's makes their cheeseburger. They want they want you to go to Japan and wherever to get your cheeseburger from McDonald's, and it's the same no matter where you go. So um, that's kind of the idea. Same thing with Avon. You, they don't want you to create your own website per se. Now you can have a blog, a blog spot that you do through a website or whatever, but it's basically, basically more about you blogging. But like I said, if you follow Emily Segrin, and I will type some information about her, over on our event page as well so that anybody who wants to follow her knows how to find her and follow her and that sort of thing um, but she has a whole marketing ploy she actually has DVDs if you want to invest in them um, you know she's just she's done, paved the way when it comes to online stuff but for sure if you're gonna do Avon the normal way like the majority of us this is crucial <laughs> You can't have enough of this. This is your store. You get this out to people, and they'll be able to shop with you. So the more you, well, my battery's about to die. So now I'm really gonna have to go fast, and I don't have a plug in here. Oh my gosh! If I lose you guys, I'll have to come back on. Um, so order more brochures. Number that's number four. Number five, events. You can use an event to help you create more success. By doing an event, um, you may have to pay for a table. I will forewarn you. 
Um, some events have not been laid out or planned very well by the people in charge, so you're going to have to do your homework. Somebody tells you it's going to cost you $50 for a table, you might want to ask a few questions. How well have you advertised? Who are you advertising through? Are you advertising through the local radio station, the newspaper? Um, they, if they tell you they've um, advertised it on yard sellers or whatever, whatever they're telling you, go back and do your homework. Because just because they're telling you that they did it doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean it got done. So, Because whoever they have covering that department or supposed to be doing whatever, they may not have followed up and done their part of the deal either. So um, just be sure you double check that before you go spending lots of money on an event table. I typically don't spend more than $25. That's about where I call it quits. Unless there is another local representative who wants to go in with me or somebody in the downline that I can take along with me um, and we benefit from it together and we share the cost of the table. So that's another way you could possibly make it work. Um, but events will yield you a lot of names. You put a gift basket on the table and make a drawing, do something to generate leads, um, draw them to your table because you have a free giveaway. Um, have lot, and again, you're gonna have to have lots of books because if they say the foot traffic is three to 500 people, you're gonna have to have plenty of books because what are you gonna give out? Bombita bags are great too. Um, now, you know, if somebody wants to sign up with you or sign up, put their information, then those are the, and some people, oh no, that's okay, I'll just take a book. Okay, well they don't get a Bombita bag, you know? They, you just have to, you know, think you're, this is cost for you. So think about those things as you're doing them. But events can be great. They can lead you to a lot of new customers, people you didn't know before, especially if you're new to an area, those things are a good way to get to know people because you're not familiar with the area. Okay, so events number six, follow up, follow up, follow up. It's crucial. You could take a $50 order to a $500 order, all because you followed up. And there's a lot of people who are afraid to follow up. They don't know what to say. If you are in that boat and you're like, gosh, I don't know what to say when I talk to people. Or, you know, I gave them the book, but I'm waiting for it all to come back to me. That isn't necessarily going to happen. People are busy. And it's not that they don't want something. I guarantee you, they have picked up this book, marked pages, torn pages out, I mean, they've got, they dog ear stuff, they stick a bookmark in it, they've got things they want, they just haven't had the time to call you. So it's a courtesy, and until you see it as that, as, until you quit thinking that you're bothering people, you know, you'll know you're bothering people when they say, oh, don't call me, I'll call you. <laughs> you know, until somebody says that, you're not bothering anybody, it's a courtesy. Um, and that little reminder, people aren't used to calling in orders. They are used to just run off to the store and go get what they want. They're not used to calling in an order. So the fact that you take the time to check back in with them is huge. So whether it's a text, whether it's a phone call, whether it's an email, whether it's on Facebook and Messenger or Snapchat, or I don't even know how to use Snapchat, so maybe that's not even a valid way. I have no idea. But whatever your way is to chat with people, and connect with them and remind people that you have an order going in, do it. It's great. They appreciate it. Um, so follow up is huge. Can't say it enough. Um, number seven, um, offering specials. So yes, Avon has special offers such as, voila, on the back cover, the A-Box, right? This is your ad on sale. How many of us are giving up sales? Because we just, we're order takers. Don't just be an order taker. Um, be sure that you take it the extra mile. You know, if you're going to Subway, the girl at the checkout, when she's checking you out with your turkey sandwich, she says, what does she say to you? Would you like a cookie with that? Would you like some chips and a drink with that? She doesn't just assume all you want is a sub. Then you're looking at the chocolate chip cookie and you're going, oh, that looks so good. Okay, you talked me into it. You know, oh, how much is that cookie? It's only 99 cents. Oh, well, or we have a special today. It's only 50 cents. Oh, we have a special today. You get three for 99 cents. Okay, you sold me. I'll take them all. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's all in how we share it. That being said, one other quick tip. If for some reason something isn't coming in and it's on back order, um, the worst thing you can do is relay, convey that frustrated feeling to your people. Don't do that. If something is not coming in, 
um, you so graciously can say, I am so sorry that item will be here next campaign. Um, but while you wait, I threw in a little chapstick for you just as a thank you for your patience. Thank you for being a valued customer. No, you don't have to do that. But the reason why your customers will stay with you and keep on buying from you and tell other people about you is because you go the extra mile. You do things that nobody else would do. Huge. Because if I go to Walmart and they don't have something I need, they're not saying, well, here, you know, maybe they ran on my laundry detergent. So they're not saying, well, here, Mrs. Hatcher, have a free box of cereal on us because we're sorry we ran out of that. Um, that box of cereal is only a couple of dollars, you know, but for me, that's huge. And I'm like, you know what? I'll wait. I'll, I can figure out a way to, I can wait one more day. It'll be here tomorrow. So I could do my laundry one more day because they went to the extra trouble of giving me some, you know, just try to figure out ways to keep customers happy. That's all. And don't, you know, if we complain about stuff, all you're going to do is it's just going to go on down the line and it's just going to make everybody else uncomfortable. So um, think about that too. Um, uh, on okay, Denise was said on her laptop. There is a person and plus symbol beside watching now, so you can add people to watch. Uh, well, okay, so I'm trying. I was trying to actually add somebody to talk, though. That's the only thing. Um, is the business page the same as the e store? No, Elizabeth, it is not the same thing. Business page. And your e-store, your e-store is your online store that Avon provides for you, www.youravon.com forward slash your name. That's your e-store. Your business page on Facebook is Facebook related. So it's a business page for Facebook that you create from your personal page on Facebook. That's what the business page is on Facebook. Um, and I know... Um, Rebecca also has a business page, and I know she can help you with that, too. Um, let's see. Oh, man, there's the battery notice. I might want to plug it in. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I may have to go run and get my battery and pick this back up because I think you guys have some other questions. But, okay, so offering specials. Um, I had a couple other things. Um, doing the math and sharing and i don't even know if um being consistent and making um holiday event baskets for holidays were the last three things i had on the list um i don't have my um charger handy but i don't even know if you guys can even still see me um okay facebook business page Christine shared about Facebook, but thank you, Christine. I don't even know if you guys can still hear me since the battery thing popped up. Can you guys still hear me? Because there's a big bar in front of me, so I don't know. Um. Hmm. Okay. Um, any questions? I can't get the thing to pop up. Let's see. I wonder if I did this. Oh. And Monica is the second win winner. I can't even talk winner. <laughs> okay, got some likes. So that means you guys can hear me, I guess. Um, I can't see the questions. It won't let me scroll up. Um, hmm. Oh, brother. I was going to see if I could get on it from my phone and see the video that way. Uh, if there are questions. Marina, hopefully your sister will get a chance to get on too. Oh, gosh. Oh, brother. Let me see if I can get on it from my phone and see the video that oh. way. Okay. I'm on. Uh, if there are questions, we have get a chance to get on, too. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. hmm. Okay, I got on it from the phone, but that didn't really help me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> can't tell from the phone if it's like letting me look at questions. I didn't see any. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm on. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. 
Okay. Um, there, I turned it down so I can see the video. Does anybody have any other questions? I did share the last three things that I mentioned that I didn't cover in great detail um, was doing the math, and um, that means actually following your plan of action to get to PC. So if you want to sell $500, just know that's going to be about 25 customers. And I also, if you really want this to work, every new person who gets in is shooting for Kickstart to get $1,000 in 90 days. So if we all did that, even if you're seasoned and you've been in them for a while, if we all did that Kickstart program and started today, if your sales are $60 or $70 or $100, and you just started doing the Kickstart program, the Kickstart program is that you're going to every campaign increase your sales by fifty dollars so if you increase your sales by fifty dollars you're basically giving yourself a pay raise every campaign um and then that will help you get to president's club because by the time you're in that seventh order you're going to be selling at four hundred and fifty dollars and then the following campaign if you were to add another fifty that puts you at five hundred so in eight campaigns you would have made it to 500.